G'day everyone, how are you doing? Hopefully doing very well keeping your healthy and safe and doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Recently, Ugreen have released a 7-in-1 adapter. Now, I do really enjoy this product. I've been using it for a couple months now, and it just works. And it's got pretty good build quality of a 7-in-1 adapter. Now, fast forward just a little bit, and now Ugreen have released a 9-in-1 docking station. And this, we're going to do a little bit of comparison between the 7-in-1 adapter and this 9-in-1 docking station. And then we'll dwell a little bit more deeper into this 9-in-1 docking station. So first off, with this 7-in-1 adapter, you can see just by pure size, this is designed for you just to throw in your bag and it's portable to give you more IO ports. It is USB-C and it does support one single 4K monitor via the HDMI port it has. And also has uh, SD card and TF card reader as well on this 7-in-1 adapter. It does have a USB-C which also passes through up to 100 watts of power to your device. So that's the similar one adapter. Now the 9-in-1 docking station, as you can see, it is a little bit more large in size, still compact and it's actually very well built quality. I think this is actually all aluminium. Just had a good feel of it, just good too. It's designed to be sit on your desk and probably just leave it. It is still portable, but this is more for your desk sort of style workstation setup here. And it does support dual external monitors. It does have two display port and also two HMI port, but they are grouped, so you can only use one of the two of these two groupings. So you can either use HMI or display port or display port to display port or HMI to HMI all that way around. In the USB C in front, it is not USB C with display port alternative. I have tested it out and I'll do that a little bit later on in the video if you want to see check that out. We'll also do a look at the temperatures of this docking station. But it does not have an SD card or TF card reader like this SIM one, so that's something you do. Now, the one thing I also noticed with this 91 docking station is something that's happening quite a lot and something more of a trend of how mobile phones is. It does not have package with a power adapter with it, so it relies on your what I would say your laptop adapter the existing have or you actually purchase another one even from Ugreen which is actually not that expensive but still it's something that you just got to take in mind with this Ugreen product that you need to make sure either you purchase another power adapter or you use your existing power adapter for your either previous product that is a USB-C that makes you plug into here. It does pass through up to 100 watts just like the 7 here. Now it does come with a USB-C cable. Now I do like the Ugreen USB-C cable. It is a very good quality, especially the bend at the back here where the connection here it is actually very stiff and it can hold quite a bit of either flexibility and just takes it. I like the good one. Now it is about one meter now for my US friends. That's about 3.3 feet. So you just to give you a bit of idea what it is, which is a nice good length for it. And you plug this one that actually goes from the docking station to your computer on the second USB-C port. So the docking station's been running for just about over 45 minutes, uh, having it connected to two external monitors. And you can see it's probably averaging around about 40 to 41 degrees Celsius on top surface area, which is not that bad at all. And of course the USB type A, that being dongle, usually is much more hotter. Now just looking on the bottom side of this, you're looking at just a little bit more better, around about 38 degrees Celsius. And of course, let's have a look at the back here. Now it is it's a little hot down there, as well, but this thing's practically quiet. I don't actually hear any sounds from it. And looking from the side here, again, around about 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. And again, we have this connected to two screens and I am playing some stuff while just constantly transferring things over here. So it's not bad at all. We're going to connect the Ugreen 91 docking station with this 14 inch MacBook Pro. This one contains the M1 Max processor and I'm not going to use the Ugreen power adapter which I also have. I'm going to use the power adapter that came supplied with this 14 inch MacBook Pro which is a 96 watt power adapter and I have this already connected in the power port which is the ending USB-C port and also have two 27 inch 4K monitors connected to this 9-in-1 docking station by display port and also have a wireless keyboard and mouse which is connected to this USB type A dongle and let's get this thing connected up 
and you do need to have your display link drivers or manager pre-installed on your Windows or Mac. Windows is pretty simple, just download the installer and just go run through the wizard and make sure display link manager is open. Now with the Mac, very similar, but you do usually have to worry about the security as Mac is a little bit more secure and just the way things have changed. Now I have created a guide that should help you out and also for the troubleshooting. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check that video out. Now as you see, we've got this thing connected and I do have this running in 4K mode, so the windows are pretty small. So they are running as the extended mode and again it is for two monitors external monitors now i'm just gonna just quickly change these into just a high lower resolution just so we can make it easy so we can just see things that's about it so at the moment we do have these in range oh it's probably rearranged itself because i've just changed the resolution here so i'll just click on done and hopefully again they on as you see they're independent displays and just looking at the power now power source does say is running on power adapter which means it is running here and before earlier when i was testing i did see it start seeing charge source because it does take a little bit of time for example i've got 86 power on there now i'm going to also bring in another third monitor because people want to ask if this usb c port if you've got a usb c monitor could you actually run this off even drupal screen uh, external screen and as I said I did test this out I'm just going to test this out with you as well so you can see this I'm just going to move for this place and this is a portable monitor so just to help us out let me just kind of bring this in here and it's now you'll probably see that I've got a USB-C port now this USB-C port is for power because I have found that the USB-C port and also the two USB type A ports they do do pass through a little power to do power delivery but it doesn't have enough to actually give you fast charge to any of the devices now this portable monitor requires 15 watts and unfortunately this documentation isn't able to provide the 15 watts that's required to this portable monitor just to let you know it's just some extra technicality so that's why i've got this extra lead just to give it more power and i'm just going to bring this is the power for this now i'm going to connect this thing up and you'll probably see it won't bring in the extra screen just to show that i have got this now booted up we'll just have to wait for this to come through it will bring itself up and nothing there and i'll just just to see if we can get a third display again we've got only got two displays showing it won't show the third display so unfortunately you cannot use the USB-C monitor if you have one. You must use either the display ports or the HDMI ports on this 9 and one docking station. Hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button and share this video as well. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.